For those of you who don't know what is happening to Twitter, let's get started on that. A Terminal mass exodus, that's what. At Twitter, where there appears to be some kind of a mass exodus of workers who are rejecting Elon Musk's ultimatum to work extremely hardcore, which he defines simply as long hours at high intensity. But how many hours and how highly intense? What does that mean? Well, no one knows, but a lot of employees apparently didn't care to wait to find out. And they just said goodbye. CNN senior media reporter Oliver Darcy is here with more. Oliver, there's a lot happening, seems, every other day at Twitter. A mass exodus now appears to be underway, and they're rejecting that 5 p.m. deadline of today, that ultimatum. Elon Musk is such a bad boss that he actually created, like, organized labor action in a company that does not have labor unions. Do you understand? Like, he is a historically bad capitalist. This is a point that I have not seen yet addressed. Can you imagine being so bad as a fucking capital owner that you end up causing your workforce to quite literally engage in organized mass labor action without the, the uh, infrastructure necessary to be able to do so? Like... That's not, that's not something that happens usually. This, this kind of stuff, it takes a while. You got to set up a labor union. You got to fucking, like, there is no overnight uh, revolutionary action. That's not a thing that happens, right? This motherfucker made it happen on Twitter. Like, people did, people were like, fuck this, I'm done. Like, absolutely not. You're, this is so fucking awful. This is so disastrous. I don't want to be a part of it. And now I hear they're, they're closing their office buildings? Why? What do you hear from people inside of Twitter? Yeah, it really feels like Twitter is taking its last gasp here. I mean, if you look on Twitter right now, the top trend worldwide is RIP Twitter. And that's because scores of employees have seemingly resigned from Twitter, rejecting Elon Musk's ultimatum. Let's, let's, let's take viewers back. Musk earlier this week gave Twitter workers, the people who are remaining after those mass layoffs, Earlier this month, he gave them an, a choice, uh, work, quote unquote, hardcore or leave the company with three months of severance. It seems like a large amount of people have decided to leave the company. They don't want to work hardcore. And that's thrown the future of this platform into utter chaos. Um, I've been talking to people all day. One former executive who recently exited told me that with all these uh, departures, it's going to be hard just to keep the lights on over there. And so now with all these departures, uh, the people who are remaining, the management has suspended badge access into Twitter's offices, presumably because they're afraid that uh, employees who are technically no longer employed at Twitter uh, could potentially sabotage things. I'll read you the statement or the email they sent to staffers. It says, effective immediately, we are temporarily closing our office buildings and all badge access to will be suspended. Offices will reopen on Monday, uh, November 21st. And it goes on to say, we look forward to working with you on Twitter's future, uh, but as, as you can see, just mass disarray has gripped this company here. I mean, you say this and talk about the lights coming on, I think to myself, what about security? What about who, who's guarding the hen house? Who's ensuring that it even operates and functions in any meaningful way? But there's also this moment, because we're talking about this hardcore intensity, he seemed to soften his stance, Oliver, on getting rid of remote work just earlier today. It's just the latest, well, backtrack in his plans. And so, I mean, I wonder how this whiplash is really landing and affecting people who are still at Twitter, still employed, maybe waiting until Monday to figure out if their badge will work again. Everyone is confused. Uh, that, that's, the, that's the short answer. Uh, and, and I was told earlier today that management was really... Offering three months salary versus hardcore work right before the holidays. What a true visionary. Yeah, no. Brilliant stuff. Worried that they weren't going to be able to retain talent. They were really... Yeah. I think it was becoming clear that a lot of employees were actually just going to leave Twitter altogether. And so some uh, sources told me that they were scrambling trying to get people to stay... And Elon Musk seemed to recognize that. I'll, I'll read you part of a note he sent to the entire company. Wait, N new Twitter policy is freedom of speech, but not freedom of reach. Negative hate tweets will be max deboosted and demonetized. So no ads or other revenue to Twitter. You won't find the tweet unless you specifically seek it out, which is no different from the rest of the internet. Dog, this is literally, wait, what? He just said, bro, he literally said, 
He is doing the exact same thing. He's doing the exact same thing that Twitter was doing. That's hilarious. Yo. That's awesome. That's fucking awesome. I love that. Dude, that is... Did I, did I fuck up? Did I, is there a typo? God damn it, dude. Fuck you. Fuck you. Deleted. 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 Okay. Thirty-seven k people saw it. That's a negative tweet. No one will see it. Well, thirty-seven thousand people saw it. I wonder if that will. Uh, I wonder if that's something that people won't see. Uh, other than that, though, you know, bold visionary Elon Musk invents shadow banning. Will you play the new Dark Pictures anthology game? Isn't that a one with a partner? Isn't that one that you play with someone else? If you want me to play scary games, go yell at Ray, okay? We were supposed to play the last Dark Pictures anthology together. That never happened. We were, uh, and, and that's it. Oh, this is a solo one too? Is this a solo one or not? Oh, I think my dad is here. Hold up. He's like, that's the person that had Grimes on. I'm going to delist their tweets. Yeah, I mean, dude, ultimately, that is what's going to happen. I mean, he, he, it hasn't happened yet, surprisingly. But uh, I do assume that that, will, that is what happens. Also, a lot of workers at Twitter have HB1 visas tied to Twitter specifically, which means they will have to leave the U.S. if they don't stay at Twitter. So those people will be forced to work under Elon's shitty work conditions. Yes, he is abusing the H1B, uh, HB1 visa uh workers right now yes um they have to withstand whatever condition elon puts in front of them uh because if they don't do that then they get ripped away kathy griffith jordan P jordan peterson what the fuck how is he re jordan peterson babylon b have been reinstated trump decision has not yet been made Uh, note, this applies to the individual tweet, not the whole account. And Elon also said no to bringing back Alex Jones. And people are fucking mad about this. People are very upset about this. Anyway, uh, we'll, we'll talk about all this shit. Uh, in, a, in a brief moment. Let's finish this uh, video, though. Um, when he softened his stance on rem remote work, uh, he said earlier today... Um, where is it? I had it here. Regarding remote work, all that is required for approval is that your manager take responsibility for ensuring that you are making an excellent contribution. What? And he went on to explain that basically people could remote, re work remotely if... Uh... What the fuck is this? Is this another like leftist that wants to get til Silicon Valley money? Antonio Garcia Martinez, what Elon is doing is a revolt by entrepreneurial capital against the professional managerial class regime that otherwise everywhere dominates, including and especially large tech companies. And that same PMC, which includes the media, is treating it as an act of lese majeste. In Burnham's formulation, this new managerial class would supplant the former business-owning bourgeois and even capital itself as the elite ruling class. Most woke labor scandals in tech are an entitled middle management class at odds with founders. Elon simply defenestrating the entire HR regime, the ESG grifters, the Skittles hair people with mouse clicking jobs who think themselves bold social crusaders rather than a parasitic weight around any organization's neck is an intolerable overturning of the social order. Um, I think these dudes need lobotomies, okay? It's just not gonna, you will never be able to save yourself. If you're, you will never, this guy is not seeing the pearly gates, okay? You're going to hell, you need a lobotomy, 
I don't know what to tell you. Uh, you know, just put the phone down and find God. Okay, find Allah right now. May Allah awaken your mind and your soul. Okay, you have an NFT PFP, which is already a major L. I suspect that he bought this uh, as well, or maybe he's a government guy. Yeah, no, he's a he's a notable in government, whatever. Okay. I love I love crypto bros like this. I hope you lose every single fucking fiat currency you have. Okay? Every single piece of fiat currency you have, I hope you fucking lose it. You gigantic fucking loser. Oh my god. That is that gave me that that hurt my brain, that hurt my soul. I'm worse off reading that, and I think you guys are worse off reading that as well. The idea that these guys are like, you can hate the PMC, the professional managerial class, all you want. It's like the most, it's like the funniest way that uh, uh, these guys who want to be like new age reactionaries uh, operate. Nah, bada, baba. Salam. Okay. Um, the, the, the new age reactionaries love hiding or coding. Uh, or, or hiding their fucking uh, reactionary perspective. Like, they don't want to they don't want to come across like an old school, uh, you know, reactionary. They want to be like, new. I'm, I'm new. I'm, I got a, I got a edgy, uh, I got an edgy take on this sort of thing. I'm going to use leftist language when I'm talking about this sort of thing, right? And it's like, no, man, just be racist. Like, you don't have to fucking, you don't have to be a pussy about it. You know what I mean? You are never going to appeal to, Wait, why is it effing? It's not effing on my end. Uh, there's no issues on, on bitrate on my end. It might be a... There's no F. Anyway. You're not... You're, you're never going to appeal to a guy. I, there was a tweet that I saw from a Hasanabi head who like lives in Wisconsin or something. Okay. And she was tweeting out, she's like, all these like uh all these working class whisperers with like liberal arts degrees that live in Brooklyn don't realize that like you know in the Midwest, like people are still gonna call you the F word. Like you are not a masculine macho man. And underneath it, someone else was replying to her saying something like, Yeah, it took it was so shocking to me when I found out after I left, you know, North Dakota or whatever, that, um, <laughs> that like when men wear cardigans, that doesn't mean that they're gay. <laughs> okay. Which I think is hilarious. Like that, that tweet itself is, is fucking awesome. Newsweek doing the same thing, calling Twitter employees, the laptop class. Yeah. I don't care. Okay. Like this is this is yet another way of mystifying class analysis. It is inherently reactionary. It is inherently anti-Marxist. Uh, I don't give a fuck what these dickheads try to say. Just say they're gay, okay? I say it all the time as a joke. You want to say it seriously? Just say they're gay. Be like Twitter employees are homosexuals, and I don't like them because that's what you're trying to say. Let's be real. The skittle-haired professional manager class just say it just say the f word dog we know what you're trying to say like nobody looks at this tweet and goes hmm how bold and insightful okay it's the biggest fucking losers that look at this and go oh i want to i want to say the f word without saying it okay yeah a lot of these people a lot of people that live in like uh you know liberal uh, liberal safe havens, okay? They're, they come across as, like, comfortable. They come across as whiny. But you are, too. At least I know what I am, okay? I know. I'm a fucking fancy lad, okay? I'm a dandy boy. I like dressing up. I like painting my fucking nails. Ultimately, I'm masculine enough or comfortable with my sexuality enough that I don't give a fuck. I don't have to go and, like, go against the grain, and, and, and try to fucking fight back against my incredibly pussified liberal coding, I guess, in the way that you're trying to by appealing to this, like, false um, intellectual reactionary that no longer exists, okay? That's the point. 
that is uh, that that is the inherent contradiction too. Because like a lot of these guys, okay, with the fucking beer bellies and the lifted F one fifties that actually do say the F word when talking about fucking Twitter employees or whatever, okay. They're also pussies who are terrified of the fucking cities. They're like, oh, man, I would dare. I would never go into a city, brother. What the fuck do you mean? There's violent crime there. It's like, yeah, dude. Well, okay, well, what do you have to say about all those fucking liberal uh, uh, homosexuals living in those cities then? Okay? They're living in this hotbed of crime. How does that work? Wouldn't you say they're more brave then than you are? He said, revolt by entrepreneurial capital. It's like, dude, you are literally running defense for one of the biggest fucking failures. Like one of the biggest, most demonstrable fail sons of our time. Okay? I absolutely despise when people do this shit. When they're like, huh, Twitch is lowering the salaries of uh, their streamers. Ha, huh, well, they're overpaid anyway. It's like, yeah, bro, you're a fucking idiot though. You understand that? You're literally defending Amazon making that decision in that circumstance. Just like when you say the professional manager or class are like woke overlords trying to ruin companies or whatever, you're unironically defending Elon Musk, okay? Bro, that dude went to Berkeley. People in the Midwest would definitely call him the F word. That's what I'm saying. It's like... Like you went to Berkeley, dog. Shut the fuck up. You have a a, a fucking PFP with a goddamn uh, NFT on it, okay? Weird take on racists, on the races not going to the city. Anyway, everyone on Twitter is a labor aristocrat. We love our phones, we uh, our treats and our media. Exactly. At least I recognize my position, though. You see what I'm saying? Like, I recognize what I am. These people also, in a weird way, recognize it, but they're so embarrassed by it, you know? They have this, like, mythological labor guy that they fantasize about with, like, these fucking pectorals. They, they wear hard hats, and they... You know, they're racist, they're bigoted, like, I want to fucking, I'm, the, I'm that guy, you know? And, and they, they constantly, it's the same energy as the fucking dumb guy who's just famous for posting on Twitter that has, like, a fucking cushy media job at The Blaze turning around and talking about, like, guys who work on oil rigs and being like, this is what labor used to look like. It's like, bro, but you're not that. Okay? If you're on Twitter and you're posting on Twitter, you're not that. Okay, you don't want to be that either. You're not that. You're not him. You're not fucking working in the oil rig. Okay, shut the fuck up. Those guys would look at you and go, "You're gay." Okay, you're you're a gay man. That's what they would say. Actually, they probably wouldn't. I, the The irony is that like a lot of those dudes are probably more open minded now than half of these motherfuckers who are literally trying to just be like the only way to be working class is by being fucking uh you know uh, a bigoted as bigoted as you possibly could be you're missing the mark uh hello one second guys <laughs> Wheat thins is back. Yeah, no, no, they're not. My dad works in the oil field, and I say he's pretty open minded for his generation and background. Anyway, what Elon is doing is a revolt by entrepreneurial capital against the professional management class. Jeet here, billionaires are the rebels, workers are the ruling class. I have a big brain. Tech employees living in incredible privilege are workers. I have a big brain who's never worked at a tech company, nor apparently read Burnham. James Burnham, the CIA consultant who worked on Operation Paperclip and urged to use of biological and chemical weapons in Vietnam, that Burnham, his managerial revolution was effectively refuted by C. Wright Mills decades ago. Boom, blammo, blocked. Now, here's the thing, okay? 
the real reason why you have disdain for the fucking uh, people that are working at Twitter is because you want to suck and fuck billionaires because you're a bootlicker, okay? Just say that. Just be like, I want to suck Elon's cock. I want to suck him dry, okay? I want all of his little cummies. Please, Daddy Elon. That's why you're doing it. You are peasant-brained, okay? You are not him. You are not the billionaire overlord, okay? You desperately want to be, but you can't. So you think, maybe if I behave uh, and be a good little boy for daddy, daddy will notice me. And the reality is, Elon Musk might, because he's fucking permanently online, okay? I actually worked a gravel mine and got fired for telling them to stop calling the singular one black person the N-word. This was in Michigan. I mean, yeah, that's, it happens. The related Ben Home Depot Shibibo learned to weld. using the the gay